BMC have very kindly sent us the latest and greatest version of their fabled team machine SLR for us to talk you through all of the details. Now in their own words, they say that it's the perfect blend of lightweight, stiffness, compliance, but also now blended with advanced aerodynamics. And when you put it like that, it does sound appealing. So let's take a closer look. Now, I may be long since retired from pro racing, but I still get most of my cycling kicks from riding as fast as I possibly can. It's a hard habit to kick, but it does mean that I get very excited by bike brands pushing the boundaries of technology, making bikes that allow us to ride faster, but to do it more efficiently and more comfortably as well. And BMC are one brand that have long been at the forefront of it. The Team Machine SLR, as a name, is now 10 years old, would you believe? And in that time, those bikes have won just about everything going in pro racing, from Spring Classics, to Grand Tours, to World Titles, and Olympic gold medals to boot. So it's fair to say that when it comes to going fast, BMC know what they're talking about. Question is though, what has been their latest move? Well, as you might expect, the new bike has a slew of updates, courtesy of BMC's in-house engineering team, who I'm assuming must be a smart bunch. They focused on weight reduction, on boosting stiffness, and also, as we've already mentioned, aerodynamics. And we're gonna start with that one. They say that this is the fastest team machine they've ever made, 6% faster than its predecessor, in fact. Although, do bear in mind, BMC have got a dedicated aero bike in their range as well, the Time Machine but they've not compared the two directly to each other. BMC uses their accelerated composite evolution technology, which is some pretty powerful computer software, to help them arrive at the optimal carbon layup and tube shape for the ride characteristics that they want. And it does so by analyzing thousands of virtual prototypes. In the past, it's used weight and stiffness and compliance as its parameters, but for this version, they've also included aerodynamics. This means that the re-engineered tube shapes and careful integration are the design highlights on this frame set. So things like the new integrated cockpit, the D-shaped seat post, the broad down tube, and also this completely re-engineered fork. All of these small changes have added up. For example, this down tube here, they've increased the surface area of it quite dramatically and also reduced the number of edges, which apparently improves the aerodynamics and also the lateral stiffness as well. But actually it also improves the aerodynamics of the water bottles, normally tacked on as an afterthought, but here BMC are calling it part of their aero core design. So they've actually woven it into the whole ecosystem of the bike's design. As you can probably tell, they've produced these bespoke bottle cages that help to really smooth the airflow coming off the down tube and around the water bottles. Apparently, the fork is where a lot of the aero gains of the whole bike come from. And perhaps not surprising, really, when you think about what contacts the wind first. Now let's talk about stiffness, shall we? BMC say they have further improved the rear end stiffness of this bike by 20% in fact, compared to its predecessor. One of the ways is with this broader down tube that we've already touched on, but also the fact that a broader down tube gives you a greater contact area with the bottom bracket. And so that has also allowed BMC to then refine the carbon layup to help boost that stiffness. Now the front end of the bike has also received a bit of attention from the engineers, so the head tube, the steerer, and also the fork itself. But all this talk of stiffness doesn't necessarily translate to road buzz and discomfort, because like others in the industry, BMC are putting considerable attention into compliance. While stiffness and compliance are polar opposites, the two actually go hand in hand when it comes to bike design. So you need stiffness on one plane for efficient power transfer and good handling, but with engineered compliance into 
areas like the seat post and the seat stays, you prevent the bike from vibrating and chattering over rough roads. And so you therefore end up rolling more efficiently and also more comfortably. Speaking of which, actually, comfort, uh, that you can actually fit 30 millimeter wide tires on this bike as well. These are 25s and there is plenty of room to spare. What then of that final design objective of lighter weight? You might think that all of this talk of aerodynamics and improved stiffness mean that BMC would have had to have added a bit of extra carbon to this bike. But no, so the frame is effectively the same weight as the previous version, but the frame set as a whole is 160 grams lighter. So that's 9% less than the previous version. A whole chunk of it comes from this integrated one-piece bar and stem up here. So not only have they improved the aerodynamics of that and completely hidden all of the cables away from view, but actually BMC say this is one of the lightest one-piece bars and stems on the market at just 305 grams. And then this front fork as well, we've touched on its improved aerodynamics, improved stiffness, but also it's considerably lighter as well. So they're just 345 grams for that. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, this particular model is the SLR011. There's actually four models that use this frame set. So also the SLR012, the 013, and the 014 as well. But there are also team machines at lower price points as well, using carbon frame sets right down to the SLR4. Now, I would love to know what you think about this bike. So make sure you let us know in the comments section down below. And if you've got any questions, then also stick those in the comments. We'll do our best to answer them. All that's left for me to say is please then give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it.